All right, the second paragraph in the essay or body paragraph one. Question number one, what details about the notebook does the writer provide in this paragraph? Number two, which sentence indicates a transition to the next paragraph? Again, pause if needed, click back when you're ready. Okay, so now moving on to body paragraph number one. Um, question number one, what details about the notebook does the writer provide? Again, we can go in order here. Um, note, and I'm going to be highlighting them just with the mouse cursor. Um, I'm not going to add color here, just to keep it short. My notebook is small sized, but not so small that it can be easily lost. It is brown, a small logo inscripted in silver on the cover. The cover is made from cardboard material, which has surprisingly remained intact and untarnished over the years. Um, perfectly rectangular with slightly soft edges. Again, detail after detail, right? To help the reader visualize what the notebook looks like. Um, and then the writer adds some sentences, some details about the inside pages. Um, and that's basically uh, the elements that he or she provides about the diary's physical description. Second sentence, second question, which sentence indicates a transition to the next paragraph? Well, you might have identified the sentence as the last one, right? Um, this is a very interesting sentence. Let's read it and, and break it down. Uh, it, or the notebook, does not look special at all on the outside. Again, it's physically simple. For what's special about it are the memories it contains. Again, half a sentence about if the physical traits or description of the notebook, and the other half um, of the sentence refers to the meaning of the diary or the notebook, which is exactly the topic of the next body paragraph that we're going to look at right after this one. Okay, now time to look at body paragraph number two, or the third paragraph in the whole essay. Uh, the first question for you to think about with your classmates or your teacher or by yourself is, identify the topic sentence in this paragraph. And second question, Find some transition words that help the writer connect sentences in this paragraph. Please, if you need to, highlight sentences in the essay itself. Uh, pause the video if needed. And when you're ready, we're waiting for you. All right, so body paragraph number two. Um, question number one, identify the topic sentence in this paragraph. Well, the topic sentence is usually, but not always, right? The first sentence in the paragraph. So I'm going to highlight it here and make this a color so that uh, we can look at it um, and we can pay more attention to it. Uh, the main purpose of this notebook is to hold my thoughts and memories. So that's basically a sentence that states the topic of the paragraph. That's why it's called a topic sentence. This is a, a paragraph about um, the meaning or the purpose of the notebook or diary, whatever it is, and the sentence makes it clear. Find some transition words to help the writer connect sentences in this paragraph. This is a very important element to look at because we need transition words all the time. Um, over the years is a transition phrase here, right, that allows the writer to provide sort of like a historical or chronological um, uh, description or part of a description, right? To this day, again, transitioning to now. Um, and then, uh, curiously, um, is a transition word, right? To add another element. For example, again, we saw the importance of adding examples to body paragraphs in order to make your description more thorough or more complete to your reader. For example, is definitely a very good transition word. And there are more, right? Uh, so um, is a transition word that allows you to connect different clauses. And so uh, those are all transition words, very important when connecting ideas in a paragraph, not only in this paragraph, but important to all of the paragraphs um, in an essay. 